Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to share with you um, a Google Sheet which is a program that I have designed because I couldn't find anything in the market that does the inventory uh, the way I needed it. Uh, most, most inventory systems are very complicated and they require you to have uh, a POS, they, they want you to uh, they want to track sales and I have software that does all that but all I need to know is what comes into the building versus what comes out. So what comes in and um, as an N plus to the inventory and what leaves the building as a minus. So in this sheet, I created a sample. Um, I hope this will help a lot of people because there is nothing in the market like that. If there is, it's super complicated. So I created the sample, sample products. So this is the barcode for the product and this is the items. A uh, bunch of electronic stuff, okay? So, and this is the inventory, the number. So far, it's zero. So, this sheet has three uh, three sheets. Production, which is basically anything that comes in your building. Shipping, anything that comes out. It doesn't have to be shipping. Could be sales. Could be somebody picked up at the store. In production, could be could be also your own manufacturing. You know, you make your own or you buy supplies or, you know, Anything that comes in the building versus anything that comes out, inventory is going to give you the details. So in this example, you can actually use a scanner and start scanning. Once you scan, it's just going to pull everything for you. So let's see. I just got um, this item. I'm just going to copy the... Oops, I don't have a scanner here, but if you use a scanner, it should work. So, all right. So it tells me like I have one here. Okay. This is a high-performance laptop. Now my inventory now, it shows I have one. Now, let's say I got, uh, they, they sent me a hundred of those. Well, let, let me show you first. Um, let's, let's do another item. Let's say we got these four items. I'm just gonna copy them, paste here. All right, so they all added one, 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 okay? So my inventory has one, one, one of these items, okay? And, Let's say this item alone, the 2T external, they sent me 1,000 piece. So I'm not going to scan 1,000 times. I can just go here and type 1,000. And that will overwrite it. Here you go to inventory, you have 1,000 items. Okay. Now, uh, let's do here, let's say 25. Um, I just change it to 30. You have this. Uh, cool thing that just goes up and down. You can actually code it when it reaches a certain level, it will turn red and that will trigger you to actually place an order. Okay, so that's how the plus area works. So uh, now let's say shipping or sales, or what have you. So let's grab items, same items maybe. Uh, let me grab this one here, 30. I'm just gonna scan that I shipped uh, I ship 25. So 25, that should be, inventory should be uh, five. Okay. It was 30, it was five. Okay. Now let's, uh, so basically that's what it does. It will track everything for you. So let's say here you have 1,000 and that's a high performance laptop. Inventory got 1,000. Shipping, let's see with the, uh, no, that's the same one, let me delete that, okay, I think it was this one I wanted. Uh, it's hard with copy and paste, but if you have a scanner, you don't have to look at anything, it just works really nice. So how much you want to take out here? Let's do 500. And Uh, inventory it's 500 so so you can have a real-time view of how things work so if you like a copy of this let me know I can share it with you uh, it's got more to it um, so um, I'm gonna show I'm gonna next if I you guys like it uh, leave me a comment and I will create a step-by-step and -step how to create it it's uh, it's very simple and I'll have the codes ready for you and uh, <clears throat> The other thing about this form is when, let's say, production, like you've been doing this for a f couple of months and you have you gotten all the way to, let's say, 1,000, you know, the sheet get, gets busy. What you can do is you can actually um, 
transfer all these data somewhere else. So you can have a clean sheet every day or every week or every month. So you can start fresh, both in shipping and without, without affecting the inventory. So you can clean the sheets, but the inventory will stay intact. And uh, okay, I already, already also have an, uh, something that uh, for manufacturers as well that will track uh, the finished goods and also the raw inventory. Uh, so if you're interested in this, please leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel, and I will definitely create a step-by-step -step video on how to create this. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.